This video will demonstrate the circular packing graph introduced in Origin 2022b. There are two data types for the circular packing graph. One of the data types is multiple levels, and the other is edge list. In the multiple levels data structure, the last column is a data value. All other columns are categories and subcategories. We use the G1 circle to explain the relation of the categories and values. For the G1 category, the circle value is the sum value for G1. For the L1, L2, L3 subcategory, the circle value is the corresponding row value or the sum value in multiple rows. For 1, 2, 3, 4 subcategory, the circle value is the corresponding row value. Here. We use multiple levels data as a sample to create the circular packing graph. Highlight the four columns and select Plot, Categorical, Circular Packing. In the dialog, make sure the data type is multiple levels and the size based on is radius. You can customize the graph color, label, and sort the circles by the mini toolbar. In the edge list data structure, there are four columns, child, parent, nodes, and value. All levels of the plot are in the nodes column, including child and parent nodes. Nodes and values are corresponding. Here, we still use G1 circles as a sample to explain the data structure. G1 is a parent node. It does not need to fill the child and parent cell. Its values is the sum value from a child nodes. For the child nodes G1 L1, G1 L2, G1 L3, fill the child cell with its node name. And in the parent cell, fill the name for the parent node. In the edge list data structure, the child and parent columns also can be filled with the row index of the node column. In the right side worksheet, for the child nodes, fill the child cell with its row index and fill the parent cell with its parent's node index. We can also use edge list data as samples to create the circular packing graph. Highlight four columns and select plot, categorical, circular packing. In the dialog, make sure the data type is edge list and the size based on is radius.